name is me, Blue Wolf Mike, and welcome to another episode of Terraria. Now, in between, uh, in the last episode, you might you guys might have recalled that we uh, we went into the Crimson biome and fought a whole bunch of flipping blood bl blood crawlers. Can't even say their name right because they upset me so much. But we took care of that, so um, we could fight the Brain of Cthulhu this episode. But of course, as usual, in between episodes, I went and I uh, I grinded a bit. I went into my materials world, which I'll probably give you guys a show of, that way you know where I'm getting my materials from. Uh, but I did a bit of grinding, and I got a few things that are going to be really helpful for us. Now, of course, I got the usual bunch of iron, uh, some good silver, I got a lot of sapphires. Uh, you might realize that our crimtain um, uh, amount has gone up, because I also, while in the grinding world, found a bunch of uh, suspicious eyes. Um, and, you know, I took those suspicious eyes. I fought them with my op overpowered character. Because I, I don't think you guys want to see a whole bunch of Aya Cthulhu fights in a row. Um, I might do that sometime where, like, fight three of them at once. That's basically what I did. So I got a bunch of Crimtain. Uh, as well as something I didn't expect to get. These binoculars. I don't know what they do. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. It follows my cursor. So I can see ahead. Oh, that is so bizarre. That is fantastic. We could actually really use that. So we got those. I didn't even know what those did. I didn't even know the thing. We got an Eye of Cthulhu mask. I also went grinding and I got some obsidian for an obsidian skull, which is going to um, give us immunity to fire blocks, which will be nice, especially for grinding later on uh, when we get down to the underworld. Uh, let's see what all else did I find. I found this, a web slinger. Now, I want to test this out. This web slinger is basically Spider-Man's power. Uh, and it's sort of like our slime hook. Our slime hook reaches just above that door. So, if we try the web slinger, it reaches a lot further above the door. Now, the web slinger goes one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh, so the web slinger has eight of these things, which is crazy, whereas the, uh, the slime hook only has three. So, needless to say, we are retiring the slime hook. Uh, in fact, if we wanted to, now that we have this beautiful web slinger, we don't even need it anymore, so we're going to go ahead and sell it for a good amount of money uh... but yeah in this episode we're gonna go over uh... and take on the brain of cthulhu and i forgot to start my timer again Ah, i need to stop doing that because as you guys know i like to keep these episodes at about twenty minutes long um, about sometimes it shortens itself because i stop it early for some reason um, but let's see what all else do we get uh, like I said, we got some obsidian, so we can make some out of that, something out of that. Um, what else? There was something else that I found in here that I knew I was going to need. Oh, a magic mirror, so we no longer need recall potions. We can use that to warp back here immediately. So, recall potions are no longer a thing that we really need. I'm um, looking through. Um, some potions. Some materials? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so that's basically what we have um, as of right now. Now I'm going to check something out because, as you guys know, the Brain of Cthulhu, we can summon it as of two ways. What's our status? 8%. So it's not spreading. The Crimson, I guess, spreads over time, but it's not spreading, which is nice. Um, but you see this Purification Powder. That will get rid of the Crimson. I guess it's only during a Blood Moon, which is a uh, random event. Um, will, uh, she'll give out, like, uh, uh, corruption or crimson powder. And we can use that in order to make, uh, I guess, things we can summon the Brain of Cthulhu with. So that will be nice, but we need to wait for a blood moon to happen for that. Uh, I'm trying to think. We got our mini shark already, so we can use that against the Brain of Cthulhu when we need to. Uh, along with a good bit of, um, you know, uh, ammo for it. We got our potions ready basically do we let's see what else we have um 
Got a hunter potion. That'll be nice because it's dark in those caves. Uh huh. We'll see nearby danger sources. We'll take. We'll take those as well. Um. Yeah, I think that'll cover us. Uh, for that. Trying to think what all else we might have that we want to take. And as you can hear, the music is changing, the NPCs are moving, it is daytime. So we are gonna go ahead, I think we're all good here. Oh wait, hold on, I think I can make um, the last bit of platinum armor. So we're going to hear materials, platinum, we can get rid of these gold boots that we no longer have a use for. Um, and we can make ourselves platinum boots. So we're gonna move up from 24 to 29 defense. I'm just gonna toss him, we don't really need him. That is awesome. That is gonna be super helpful, but of course we have our mage garbs on, so we are taken care of there. What all materials, um, accessories do we have on us? Um, band of regeneration. I think we're good. So, let's go ahead and let's just get this out of the way. Oh, no, wait, ah, gotta go back, because I just forgot one more thing. I also found a bunch of, um, hearts while we were, um, a bunch of these life crystals. So now we have our maxed out, um, health thing there. But now, if we come down, I don't know if it was here. No, I think it's at an anvil. If we grab some iron as well. We can make a little something called a heart lantern. Or is it here? Just making sure it wasn't here. So we can make a heart lantern, which will also increase our regeneration, as well as the campfires. Uh, I'm trying to find it. Is it here? Crap. I should really look up um, crafting recipes beforehand, shouldn't I? I have them in my inventory, right? Yeah. Weird. Alrighty. Well, never mind. So we will just, uh, we'll put these back, we'll get the heart canisters later, um, the heart, uh, things, uh, lanterns later. So we're good for right now, but let's go ahead and head over to Crimson, say hello to our old friends, the face huggers, or not face huggers, um, friggin' blood monster things, ah, I don't even remember their names, I don't want to. Here, these guys. These guys aren't as big a problem. I just hope we don't get a lot of lag. Oh, hold on. Oh, Shiverthorn. That's a plant. Okay. Down here, though. Down here is where... Oh, right. Hold up. Crap. Oh, I guess I could show the magic mirror in use. There we go, and it's reusable. I just remembered we were probably going to want to bring explosives because... Um... Oh, we have explosives on us. Dang it, we just wasted time. Because um, we might need to bust through the the crimson the crimson stone stuff that uh, blocks those hearts off from us. Because um, our gold pickaxe can't bust through the crimson, not yet, at least. Ah, oh, that's an umbrella slime. I wonder if it's raining. Yeah, it's probably raining then. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah. Blood crawlers! These are the things! I hate them so much. I really do. I hate them. Anyway, let's work our way down here. Um, also, when we bust open these heart things, um, it's gonna be a little harder. Um. The different things will happen to the world, like disasters and catastrophes and whatnot. So, let's see. Shoot. Okay, here's also. Uh, blood crawlers! They're everywhere, I swear. Anyway, what I was saying, we let's go ahead and make some platforms as well. They will be extremely helpful. Not you! You will not be helpful. That way we can, you know, work our way around if need be. Uh, and not have to take a uh, crap ton of damage. 
Taste the power of the mini shark. Ah, and it's lagging. This sucks so much, guys. This sucks so much. I hate blood crawlers. They're my new least favorite monster in Terraria. Hey, let's make up a whole bunch of these. Oh, a traveling merchant. Just in time. I didn't want him around. Wow, look at the amount of damage that does. That is pretty nuts. There. Um, we might go and see what that traveling merchant wants from us as well. Now mind you, the Brain of Cthulhu is again in hard mode, and I've never really th fought the Brain of Cthulhu. So I don't know what to expect. expect from him in hard mode. As far as I know, he shoots out little eyeballs, which isn't too bad, I guess. Um, but I don't know what else he might do in hard mode. Or expert mode, or whatever this is. I think it's called expert mode. And hard hard mode is what you get after fi fighting the wall of flesh in the underworld, which we'll, we'll get to that eventually. Oh, great. A friggin' blood. Face monster. Don't make me waste my stuff on you. I don't want to. Saving this for your boss. Now I can get a raise. Hopefully, never have to come back here again. Um. Yeah. Like I said, though, before uh, before this episode, I I actually uh, ended up um, fighting a lot of Eyes of Cthulhu. <laughs> Go away. A lot of Eyes of Cthulhu, and um, so that's how I got all that Crimtain. But you guys have seen the Eye of Cthulhu fight like multiple times. You guys really. I doubt you guys would want to see it again. Um, so let's see what might help us. We're going to put this slime thing on because there are ice slimes coming around. We don't need them bothering us. So. Really? Okay, real quickly. This might be a bit of a longer episode. But I'm going to check out what this merchant has for sale. And then, then we'll fight the uh, Brain of Cthulhu. Hey, what do you have for me? Oh, a winter cape. That actually, uh, I don't have enough gold for that. Whoops. Well, that sucks. A DPS meter, damage per second. That'd be fun. Um, let me go ahead and kill this flying fish. Uh, stopwatch. Uh... How fast the player's moving. Pad tie. We already have some pad tie. We can get some more though. Give us a nice buff for the uh, fight. All right. Well, it looks like we're done here. You are absolutely useless to us, Mister. Oh, I took my thing off. My magic carpet. It is raining. Gosh, that's no wonder the game is so laggy right now. I'm so sorry guys. Like I said, until I get a more powerful computer, this is really not... Oh wait, we don't need to jump over these guys because they ain't gonna hurt us because that uh, uh, slime charm thing, which gives us plus four damage, which is gonna help out tremendously uh, in the fight against the Brain of Cthulhu. But, let's see. I gotta get my stopwatch back out. So I can see how much time we have left in the episode. Alright, we have nine minutes left to fight the Brain of Cthulhu. I don't really think it's going to be a problem. Um, we'll summon him, we'll bust open the hearts. It'll be a jolly good time. Goodbye, particles. We don't need you. Uh, so let's go ahead and we're going to get our slime mount out here. Because we're going to bounce on this thing's brain, obviously. Yeah, yeah, hi. Yeah, get wrecked, nerd. Gosh, this is going to be laggy. Actually, let's make some sticky bombs. Hit 
Okay, that'll destroy one. No, it won't. That'll destroy it. One down. A horrible chill goes down your spine. We got a... Ho! Oh, zealous Undertaker. That's another one done. Whatever that thing is. Crimson Rod. Oh boy. One more, guys. One more. We're done. And the Brain of Cthulhu is awake. There he is, guys. You see him. Right? I'm not crazy. Oh, gosh. He's everywhere. Oh, we're bouncing everywhere. We're going to die. Gosh, what the heck is going on? Get at the mini shark. Oh, we're going to. We are so going to die. We might just get wrecked here, guys. Okay. Maybe I was unprepared. Maybe I have to kill all these, like, little eye things first. No, blood crawler. We don't need you. You're not welcome here. Gosh. Alright, well we're taking out these brains. Uh oh, uh oh. He's a very angry brain. Use the friggin' mini shark. Look at him, we got him stopped in his tracks. It's a heart and a brain, guys. Gosh, everything's an illusion. Ah, uh, I don't like this. This guy's weird. This guy is so weird. No, you stupid blood crawler. Oh gosh, the illusions. Is that what he does? Is that his thing? Gosh, we're gonna die again. No, not anymore. We got our health potions. You just messed up, brain. Gosh, that is so trippy. Okay. Oh, we killed it! We got the brain of Cthulhu! Oh, we don't have to do that anymore. Oh, we got a brain of Cthulhu trophy. We got some more container. We got some tissue samples. No thank you, blood crawlers. I'm done with y'all. Oh, that was nuts, guys. We almost died there multiple times. Woo-wee! Man, look at all of this stuff we've got. Oh, dang. Got some nice uh, ranged damage here. Um, we got a nice new magic weapon. We can put this up. We got the brain of Cthulhu, the eye of Cthulhu all taken care of. Now let's open up this treasure bag that we've got here. Oh, I got platinum for some odd, bizarre reason. Uh, and let's open it up and see what we get. We got Arcane Brain of Confusion. Plus 20 mana, which is amazing for our mage. Uh, may confuse nearby enemies after being struck? Bruh. We might take that over the... Over the shield. Because, you know, we're not, a, we're not a warrior. We're not a warrior, guys. So we will put the... We can put the shield away. Now, but that is interesting. I've never heard of that. May confuse nearby enemies after being struck. That was actually a really hard fight because I couldn't tell what the guy was up to. And we opened um, we opened up the bag and got some more tissue samples. Uh, and what does this uh, freaking crimson rod do? As well, I'm going to show you guys the Doombringer uh, Undertaker. I mean, Undertaker. Up oh, and he's gone. The merchant. Um, the Undertaker itself isn't really all that good does a lot of damage but it doesn't rapid fire really well um, doesn't even do that much damage oh my gosh blood rain tell the truth I probably could have um, 
Probably could have uh, read that. Yep, someone's. Yep. Clouds of blood, guys. That's what we've uh, we've come to. We are now necromancers. Okay, so it fades. But that has it's arcane, so we have 120 mana now, which is absolutely beautiful. That could be very handy in our fights, guys. I'm not gonna lie, that was awesome. Um, I enjoyed that fight like a lot. That was really fun. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go ahead and grab a bunch of our crim chain bars here. Now we've got tissue samples. We can finally move on to the next tiers of weapons. So, the weapons and other such stuff. Uh, we've got the meatball, which is a fling. We again, we're not we're not these guys. We're not the kind of guy who goes for melee damage. So we got a Deathbringer pickaxe. Amazing. So we no longer need this gold pickaxe. It is absolutely useless to us. We can also go ahead and make some crim uh, what is it? Crimson uh, armor, which. Let's let's go ahead. First things first, because we don't want to run out of crimson bars. Um, let's make let's just make up a bunch of crimson bars. That sounds like a good idea, right? Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's lagging because we made so much. Okay, now we can make the armor. We got one crimson helmet, one crimson chest plate, and finally a pair of crimson. Boots. Now we're talking, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're talking. We are going to be so heavily defended. Oh, we have like 29 before. We are now up to a total of 24. Um, I might have been wrong about that. But anyway, that we have a um, Grant's increased life regeneration. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be very hard to take down now. Look at that. Increased life regeneration. 2% uh, increased damage, and that's damage overall. Plus the amount of defense we're getting from this. Oh, baby. Yeah. Let's see what else we can make. Um, now, believe it or not, I think we will actually have to make the Blood Butcher. I don't necessarily want to. But it's first off, it's no, it's not better than our sword. We need to because there's a sword later on that we can make, uh, and that'll be very nice. We're gonna keep the uh, mini shark around. I like the mini shark better than the new uh, undertaker. I keep wanting to say doom bring doom bringer. That's a pickaxe. But dudes, that was awesome. I kid you not. We uh we successfully took down the brain of Cthulhu and do not need to fight him again. Thank goodness. But we are going to put our materials away, and it is coming to the end of the episode. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching while I put these things up here um, in the materials chest. We might need to make another materials chest, honestly. Um, but in the next episode, I don't know what we'll do. <laughs> I really don't. Um, we'll probably go look around and, uh, you know... Yeah, well, we'll see what we have to do next. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this incredibly awesome episode of Terraria, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!